Have you ever been to a studio where there's loud music playing? The artist is there throwing paint around and there's rock and roll blasting out of the speakers. That's the way it used to be in the 70s, 60s and 70s. It probably still is. I haven't been to a studio in a long time, but a lot of music. The Book of Art says, Music can be an impediment to your work. Loud, raucous music can make one aggressive, overly active, and unstable. It can block clear thinking. Loud music is the music of war. Now, we've already talked about that, that painting is not a war. We're not in a war with the canvas. We're not at a battle. An artist is better served by listening to the sound of nature. The sound of birds singing or water gently flowing over the rocks can have a calming effect that stimulates the art soul. It allows the spirit to circulate and flow from the eyes and ears to the tip of the brush. Nature's music is the music of peace. And an artist must be a peaceful person, must be at peace with the universe, at peace with himself, peace with his neighbors. I can't stress that enough. There's no war going on here. There's peace. Now, artists eventually have artist block, as you've heard, where can't seem to go anywhere. Every artist eventually comes to a place where the path is blocked. There's a brick wall in front of you. You're wondering what you're doing, why you're doing it, what you're doing it for, what's it all about. The tendency is to turn around and go back to familiar ground. When we can't go forward, we tend to want to go back. You'll find that a lot in old people. When they can't, when the future looks so confused and hazy to them, they return back to the good old days, they call it. Because that's where they're more comfortable. That's what they remember. So when you can't go forward anymore, you tend to want to go back. An artist must never go back. Walking over a path once traveled brings one back to the same place. Some people like to go back to the same place, but an artist, you must go forward. Instead, remain calm. Don't be alarmed or lose faith. The path will become clear again, and you will see your way. When you're up against the wall, a lot of times it's for your own good. You need your body, your March spirit is telling you to take a break here. You know, let's regroup. Let's get back to the basics here in our mind and our bodies. In order to do that, it blocks off everything, and so you you become confused, and your ego wants you to keep going, and you you've been on a roll, and you want you can't understand what happened. You it seemed like just a week ago you knew what you were doing, and now you don't know what you're doing. These are times when you need to stay calm and don't worry. It comes around again, pretty soon you're started up again, and you know, off you go. But if you turn around and go back and start doing things just to be doing things that you once did before, regurgitating old ideas and old things, you'll get stuck back there because you need to keep going. That's important. Keep flowing forward.
An artist who has replaced his art soul with his ego, here's what he wants to hear. An artist who has saved his art soul, here's what is there to be heard. I'm going to read that again. An artist who has replaced his art soul with his ego, here's only what he wants to hear. An artist who has saved his art soul, here's what there is to be heard. That means an artist with an art soul that's tuned in to the world around him, to the universe. You don't just select the things you want. Just select the ones you want to hear. You want to hear everything. Make your judgments better that way. So, these are some things I want you to think about. As I said, I've been saying over the last year, don't let, uh, don't think art is just something you, that just running and putting an idea, a form, and paint and color on canvas. Your mind has to constantly work. There's a lot of things to work on to get your soul right, to get yourself circulated right, get your spirit right. There's a lot of temptations. There's a lot of things that come in to try to slow you down. and it's a, it's a delicate thing and you have to keep on guard. It's a lifelong project, being an artist. It's not a bunch of little times. It's a, it's a full life's work. And if you're not going to dedicate yourself to it full time, you're not going to be a real artist. You're going to be one of those commercial artists. So you think about it. Go to my website, send me an email, see you next week.